Hello everybody, welcome back. It is almost March. The weather has been crazy. I don't know about where you guys are, but it was 74 degrees two days ago and now it's a big snowstorm in the 20s. So spring is coming, I guess. Either way, a new month is coming. So it's time to set up our budget for next month. And it looks alarmingly similar to last month and the month before and every other month. I know these monthly budgets get kind of boring and monotonous, but I feel like the monthly budgeting battle is won with consistency. And once you get really comfortable with your finances and how much money you allocate to certain categories every month, then you just end up generally spending the same amount of money every month. And when you're always paying attention to your money, you can at least figure out where Maybe you're spending more than you should be, or there's other areas that you want to beef up. And it's just a lot easier to recognize those areas when you do have your finances pretty well in a pattern. That being said, let's get into March. Okay, just so I don't bore you all to death, I already wrote out all of my budgeting categories for the month. So we'll just go through them quickly, um, with the exception of my income goal. So with March, um, we have our annual bonus that will get paid out this month. I don't know exactly how much it'll be, but um, normally my base income goal is like 53.60 after taxes. Um, and that's like bare minimum I would ever make. It never ends up happening just because there's always overtime and shift differential and whatnot. And I'm, I don't mean that in a complaining way, but um, so I don't know. I'm just going to ballpark 6,000 is my goal. I have no idea what the bonus will be this year just because there's so many factors that go into it, so who knows? We'll find out. But moving on to the expenses, my rent is always fifteen hundred. My electricity, I had been budgeting fifty, but it's been really cold um, these last couple months, so I just bumped it up to sixty. My internet's always thirty nine ninety nine. My federal student loans, which are all with Fed Loan Servicing, still in forbearance until the end of April. So zero dollar monthly payment there. Gym memberships always twenty two ninety nine, Netflix always nineteen ninety nine, which is an increase. Of course, I'm sure you all got the email. They increased their prices for this year. Sprint is sixty dollars a month every month. And that's my cell phone, of course. Groceries and food, I'm keeping it where it's at now for February, which is an increase. I can't remember if I increased it for January. Either way, it, I was trying to budget like 300 and it was just not realistic. I was going over every month, so I moved it up to 450. But I did implement a new spending strategy with my food and actually all of my shopping in general. So I will be talking more about that in my February budget review video. So stay tuned for that if you're curious. Um, gas and car wash, I always budget 60. My chiropractor is $40 a visit. I try to go every week. 160 for the month. Pet supplies, I budget 25. Investing, this isn't really budget, it's more of a goal, but I'm going to try to invest $100 every month. And same with donating, I have a goal of donating 50 every month. And then personal spending that doesn't fit in any of those other categories, I usually try to budget 300. And then, of course, space is open for the end of the month, things that come up as they always do. <sighs> And now, oops, down to the debt. The only debt I have left at this point, of course, is my Fed loans, Fed loan servicing student loans, totaling $160,722. We have a $30,000 goal for the year. Current savings is at $8,700. So to meet a $30,000 goal, that's $2,500 a month, plus I have $4,800 saved over from 2021. And once the forbearance is over, if it actually does end this time, I'm just going to be dumping all that money um, right onto the loans. But um, like I said, $2,500 a month, $30K total for the year. I was shy this month in February uh, just because if you guys saw this past week's Transfer Tuesday video, you know I had to pay $1,200 for getting my taxes done and I had to pay that up front. So of course, they're not done yet and I don't know what I'll be getting back, but um, normally I just do like H&R Block online and 
where my expenses were so convoluted for 2021, I decided to get them done professionally. And a lot of you seem to think that 1200 bucks is a lot. I don't know. So we'll see if it was worth it or not. But anyway, so it really um, cut my monthly savings ability in half for February. So I wasn't able to save what I wanted to for student loans. So now I'm about $1,100 behind on my $30,000 goal for the year, which I hope to make up in the months to come. But I'll bring that up more as we go. So we'll see what I actually end up being able to add for March. Hopefully it's more than the 2,500 just so I can make up a little bit for February. And then my sinking funds, of course, my emergency fund, I would like to have a goal or no, I, I do have a goal of $10,000. Currently it's at $583.02. I didn't write that amount though, just because there is one more transfer Tuesday in February and I may add to that a little bit. So I'm not sure what that'll be f starting for March. Roth IRA 2022, of course, I wanna contribute the full 6,000 if I'm able to. And I would like to have a car vet and medical fund that has $2,000, which is essentially an extension of my emergency fund, but just something I keep more in my day-to-day um, -day credit union account so I have access to those funds whenever that kind of expense comes up. <sighs> I don't know. I don't exactly have a strong inclination of where I will be investing this $100 if I'm able to. Hopefully I will. I don't know if I'll start putting it to my Roth or not. Something that happened last year was I just was so focused on the $30,000 to student loans that I just kind of set everything else aside. Unfortunately, like I, did, I wasn't funding my emergency fund really and I only ended up being able to put $1,500 into my Roth IRA for 2021. So that's not ideal, but it's just, not my focus just because the student loans are and getting out of debt and I know some of you would argue that maybe that's foolish or silly or whatever but it just is how I feel and personal finances are personal so it's just all about what is a priority for you and what you feel like is going to be or is going to make the biggest impact for your future and I know time in the market is so important but I don't know, I'm just, I'm gonna try better this year. Last year I was just panicked. It was like my first year of having a really big, big financial goal. I mean, of course, years prior, I was always trying to do my best with paying off my loans and I had been done, but last year was really the first year I put in like a structured monthly budget in place and broke down my, um, finances month by month and what that meant for what I would need to save every month to hit my big goal and that kind of thing. So it was just more, I guess I felt a lot of pressure to make that goal happen. So I'm trying to not only keep that goal still in focus for this year, just because it is the same amount as last year, but I also know how important investing is and having your money in the market as long as possible means investing upfront as much as you can. So especially right now, like the stock market is <clears throat> incredibly, I don't know, it's not incredibly hurting, but it's, I don't know, it's a good time to buy in basically. So I am going to try to make that more of a priority for 2022 and not just focus on only the student loans. So hopefully I can make that happen. I don't know. We'll see. And then the last, um, Thing I want to talk about for my March budget is of course my monthly goal. I kind of got away from these uh, for a bit just because my money goals for the last several months in a row have just been um, contributing X amount of dollars towards my student loan savings to make my target. So of course now we're in 2500 a month this year but I have to make up for February so my hope is that I can do 3000 to my student loans in the month of March. Just to get a good, like I said, I'm $1,100 behind in my savings for February. So 500 extra dollars in March would put a good chunk of that, um, or get, get caught back up a good chunk from February. So 
$3,000 to student loans is my money goal for March. And that should be hopefully no problem with the yearly bonus. We'll see how it goes. If you guys are curious at all where I got my 2022 monthly goals from or how I'm breaking down my goals month by month, I highly suggest you check out this video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.